I'm a single mother to four kids. And I had all four children are with the same person. I was married to their father for 10 years. And one of the things that did keep me stuck was thinking, gosh, if I leave him, who's going to want me with four kids? Like, no one's going to want to date me. I'm going to have a hard time. Blah, blah, blah. First of all, loving myself was the main focus when I left because I think that's the only way you're going to make any progress is learning how to like care for yourself the way you've cared for and poured into other people. But also, I have not had any problem dating people. There is a whole group of people that don't give a fuck if you have kids. They totally are like, yeah, that's your shit, your kids. I'm down to date you and just have a good time with you and they kind of see you as separate and it's not a big deal and for me especially I'm not looking for a step parent for my kids they have a father however he is that's their father um and I'm not looking for anybody to like a, another person to fucking co-parent with so for me it works out completely perfect that there's plenty of men that don't don't care that you have kids so if that's one of your fears especially with a lot of kids it's, it's, you're good. <laughs> I've just gotten back from the gym and literally just taking my hair out of funny stuff. So, I'm dating. I'm 45. I've been dating for kind of a while now. But here's, here's the thing. And here's the point that's being missed. Okay? So, I'm doing all the things. Like, I'm going to the gym. I've got a car. I've got a house. You know, three bedroom, two bathroom, house. I pay for all of these things. And all of these things are mine. I have a new, you know... Uh, I have a good relationship with my family, good relationship with my children, um, you know, all the things. So when a man approaches me, I need you to ask yourself something. When I look at her, and I normally don't look like this, but when I look at her and I see that she's doing all these things in her life without me, 800 plus credit score, not in debt, you know, all the things. She's doing these things without me. She's going to work, paying the bills, doing the things, mowing the grass, like I'm the man. Um, what value do I bring to this situation? What, what do I have to offer her? Because if she looks like this, she acts like this, and she behaves like this already, what do I add to this equation? And if you can't answer that question within 30 seconds or less, don't ask her out. Don't. Being a single mum and dating in the Gold Coast is brutal. First of all, the universe is literally trying to tell me something because my ex, who I was in a traumatic relationship with, was Scorpio. And every single guy that wants to come up to me and get to know me is Scorpio. And they're on the same day as my ex or the day before or after his birthday. So I'm pretty convinced the universe is literally telling me to stay away from all men at this point until I do some serious healing. I really hate being that girl to straight up ask a guy when's your birthday, like I'm all woohoo and star signy. I don't know much about star signs besides stay the fuck away from Scorpio. I need to stay the fuck away from Scorpio. But there is just something so unbelievably attractive about Scorpio men. The confidence that these guys breathe. And whenever a man looks at me, I literally feel like everyone just parts ways for us. And then I find out he's Scorpio and it makes total freaking sense. Another weird thing is I'm attracting in a lot younger guys. I'm 36 years old and they're usually around 25 to 27. And I just feel like that's just a little too young for me. I'm also finding out guys here on the Gold Coast, they don't date. They just want to chill. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck is chill? What is that? Turns out that's the obvious. It's coming over, it's banging, and it's bailing. And I am just not for that. I would much rather be spending time on my own than just feeling like literally a piece of meat. I did all of that dumb stuff in my 20s and I'm not about to just go backwards in life. So I've simply just come to the conclusion that I am going to continue working on loving myself until the right guy shows up, but doesn't only show up, he is going to consistently keep showing up, keep wanting to see me, keep wanting to get to know me, asking the right questions, and then maybe I will give him the time of day. I am about to go on a date. I haven't had... 
a date. I haven't been on a date since my last relationship, which was in 2019. So it's been a couple, four years. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with myself. Anyway, I'll show you my outfit. It's freezing and yes, I'm wearing sandals, but I feel kind of cute. Ah, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. <laughs> date. What date? I got fucking stood up. I got stood up. How fucking embarrassing sitting at the fucking reservation and nobody shows up for 45 fucking minutes. Like, is this, is this what it's come to? That, like, nobody shows up for the committed time? I'm excited. I'm excited to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's all bullshit and, like, no response, no nothing. I just get blocked and... I'm a 38-year-old woman. A woman. I just got a... I, well, I just... I got out of a 10-year committed monogamous relationship. I have been single for the last two and a half years, raising twins. I thought, oh, maybe, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to get out. Maybe it's time to see. Maybe there's, maybe there's new partners out there. If this is... If this is what it's like to date in 2023, I don't want to fucking do it. I'd rather be single. I'd rather get myself off than fucking wait for a potential mate. Oh, fuck's sakes. Of course men are not going to care if she has children, if they're only looking to bust her cheeks. She's acting as if she's come across some powerful realization. Most women don't want to ride to the carousel though. Most single mothers do want some type of serious relationship, and that's where they come into trouble. That's exactly right. Men have, and always have, done those things for themselves. And men have been asking women that exact same question. What do women bring to the table? A man knows what he brings to the table. Men bring protection from dangerous situations, do the hard graft manual labor, and dirty jobs that women don't want to do and men also carry heavy objects. So she needs to ask herself, if a man also cooks and cleans for himself, has a high credit score, and all the things she mentioned, what does she offer? Nothing. <laughs> she said she had a traumatic relationship with a Scorpio man, so she does not want to date Scorpion men, but she finds Scorpion men so attractive, she can't keep away from them. But the only men who want to date her are young guys, and they only want to clap her cheeks and dump her. She admits she got ran through in her 20s and she is tired of it. And then she says she is going to make sure guys treat her right before she gives them the time of day. Do you see what's happening here, guys? Although she is damaged from past relationships and gets pumped and dumped, she still considers herself as high value and that men have to prove themselves to her. It doesn't make any sense. Any fucking sense. I will never understand why women go through the trouble of telling the world they are going on a date and then to tell the world that they got stood up. Is this their form of therapy or something? Showing everybody how they took a loss or trying to get attention and sympathy from everybody. Beats me. Real men of genius.